tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. We just have two words to say. Dalawang words lang ha. Grabe ang power na to pag sinagpinagsama ang words. Ang tanong is, what if? Oh, times these what if moments come from bursts of imagination. Mas lalo na if you've had to make really big life changing decisions or if life just really doesn't go the way you want it to go. But you know, even if ganun talaga, ganun talaga ang buhay eh. We have to work with it and just keep going. Fighting and growing. Life must go on. And madalas, nung nangrasa natin to, as you get older and enter into adulthood talaga, to find gentlemen to talk about their very interesting personal experiences with making tough decisions as they've entered adulthood and handling their what-if moments and less. Not only the youngest mayor in the Philippines, but he's also a musician! Crushy ng bayan! Particularly Alaminos! And really just your regular awesome guy. We have Brian Celesto! Honorable Mayor Brian Celesto! Celeste! Ayun! Bye! Hello! Hello! Mayor! Hello. Hi, mayor! Hello, Mayor! Naku! Naku! Grabe talaga! Napapa-oh ako sa'yo! Sa last... Oh! Mm-hmm. Ano na ako sa'yo! We have Brian Celeste here, everyone! Here in Beauty in a Box! I'm so happy that you're here with us this afternoon! Yes, it's a Hi, honor. Thank you. Now, let's welcome our next guest. He's not only a multi-talented TVC and print model, co-singer and entrepreneur din siya. We also have an athlete because in the tennis court. We have Iyo Canlas! Hello, guys! Hello, hello! Hi, Leah! Thanks. Hi, Hi, Happy Hi, Hi, Brian. Oh, Ito kay Iyo. Ito ito ito. Ito. Oh, next slide. Ayan. Pa, ano lang. Tennis player. Siya singer. Tapos next natin slide. Ito pa. Ayan si atin. Oh, diba? Si Iyo tsaka si Brian. Ang bigatin. O pa. Makapagalang ganun. O, diba? Pakit-kit lang sa uh, office. Next. Next natin. O, oh, pa. O. Oh. For those who want to check out the Spotify video niya, oh, <laughs> sabi ng comment dito, you have Rhea Hersa saying, Iyo plus Brian plus Ali. Ay, sinali ako sa kol- collaboration. Oh my God, hindi ko, di ko lang alam kung singer din ako or ano. Baka taga ano lang ako, taga beatbox. Mag-ano lang ako. Mag-ano <laughs> lang ako sa background. <laughs> <laughs> Naho, okay. So, ayan. So, so, we're able to, you know, get into your backgrounds and stuff. So, it's time to delve into the meat of our discussion talaga. Finally, ipaghuhugutan na natin ang mga what-if moments nyo sa buhay nyo and just try to make sense out of it all. You know, find closure in it. Ah, uh, closure. So, I just, you know, ito na tayo mga discussional advice for making hard choices and dealing with the what-if moments in life. Some of the tough decisions you've had to make after college. Kasi, you both, like, died Okay, mga same age, young adults, you know, maybe in choosing careers, maybe, like, you know, mga leaving people behind, may ganun ba? Or maybe, a love life nyo ba? Mga are some of the tough decisions. Like, in general, ikaw, Brian, ano mga, if you remember some of the tough decisions you have to make, ano yun? Siguro, for me, the one of the toughest decisions that I had was, kasi I grew up in Metro Manila. I mean, I studied grade school, high school, college, nasa lista ako all the way, so... Either way, dito sa Alaminos, we, parang pupunta lang kami dito pag summer and everything. Tapos yung decision ko na going into public service kasi unang-una, I barely... Nung back in college, hindi naman ako parati dito sa probinsya. Eh. Different talaga yung... The, the, yung yung buhay dito sa province and buhay sa Manila, it's very different. And syempre, sanay yeah. naman tayo. Pag DLSU, we all had happy Thursdays and everything. Hi, oh, that, you, everyone had that phase. Everyone had that phase. So, back in college, I was in that phase. So, yung decision ko na, na parang ready na ba akong mag go back to the provincial life na oh. syempre, yung yung switch of lifestyle is ano eh, magbabago talaga. So, so, oh, then I decided, siguro naman, but, ano, yung end of college na yung patapos na college, parang, nawala na rin yung gana ko, yung, that phase was done, yung party, whatsoever, blah, 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 nag tone down na ako, until, hindi na talaga ako masyadong lumalabas. And then, dun, it was easier already, na, makapag-adapt ulit sa probinsya, kasi, natapos na rin ako sa phase. But, 
yung middle of college talaga para ako siya. Gusto ko ba to? Gusto ko ba to na I would, should I venture into politics knowing that I would change my lifestyle and the things that I use I enjoy now will not be available here in Alamino. So, yun. But then again, I chose the life here. Especially it's peaceful and everything. Yun nga lang, we have politics. So, minsan nakaka, ano rin, nakaka-torete din. Yes! Gusto ko yan. Cue in! Torete! Oh, <laughs> may pa-cue in lang tayo ng torete. I like what you said nga, Brian. Kasi, you know, from like, ibang-iba talaga yung pagka-life mo talaga before. Yung pag-everyday routine mo siguro, no? Na parang, but you, Iyo, ano sa- sa'yo naman? Like, what have been like some of the toughest decisions you've had to make? Well, for me, kasi, since I was five years old, I've been playing tennis na. So, basically, it's my whole life na, kumbaga. And, and siguro yung hindi, hindi ako naging prepared for was gradu- after graduating, after, kasi here in the Philippines, sa tennis, kasi wala namang, wala masyadong pro leagues or walang anything like that, unlike basketball or like volleyball na talagang yung mga athletes may, may avenue to still play after college. So, with tennis kasi it's not so much the same case. So, ayun, parang, yun, medyo ako, parang na, parang I wasn't prepared na ngayon bigla na lang I, I have to shut, parang shut down that aspect of my life. Hindi naman shut down completely, but yeah, iba yung, iba yung competitive tennis talaga eh. Kung baga now, I had to look for other interests, other passions in life. And, ayun, parang, siguro, yun yung isa sa mga, one of my biggest, um, tough, one of my toughest decisions after college. And, ayun, the, the way I did it was, siguro like a lot of people, I took a few months rest first to really yeah. think about what I what I want in the future and see how things would go after that. And, ayun, this, this sort of showbiz world found me. And, yeah. ayun. It's, it's been really oh, interesting. Yeah. Life gives you lemons. You make lemonade, di ba? So, medyo napakasim ako doon ng lemonade. Lemonade. So, pero we all know, that's easier said than done. So, how can one best handle or grow around the lemons and curveballs that life throws at you? Nanose with ako sa tanong kong yan, ha? Parang, ano bang ginagawa niyo? Pag, when, you know, pag may mga parang hardships, mga lemons that, you know, life really throws at you. Kayo, ikaw, Brian, ay, anong, how do you deal with it? For me, I, I see it as a challenge. Because I've always been, you know, growing up, I've always been, the, I was always the underdog. And whenever there's a challenge uh, in front of me or you know, anything that's negative, uh, uh, I see it as a challenge. I use it as a motivation. And I use it as an opportunity for me to grow. I don't I I I don't want to be the victim eh para I don't want to be intimidated or whatsoever mas gugustuhin ko na ito there's a challenge in front of me there's a problem it either make me or break me but I always choose that this problem will always make me I like I like that ha quote ball quote yun, ha? I will choose that this problem uh, I will choose to say that this problem will make me hindi siya break me make me talaga I love that. I tell you, how do you handle those like lemons, mga hardships mo sa life? Ikaw, how um, do you? Sa akin kasi, siguro yung biggest curveball ko would really be what 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 I said earlier nung na accident ako. Kasi, you know, it was it was really a big part of my life. To give you a brief background, so basically, but um, I was involved in a a car accident and it took me three oh. years to to really recover, to be able to walk again, to talk again, actually. Yun, it took me a whole Wait, three years. Wait, ano? Ano ba that? As in talk? As in, hindi ka nakapagsalita? Yo. Yeah, because it's a gruesome, pero oh. my, my tongue, my tongue was cut. Hala! Ang oh, ano? Oh my God. Pag ganun, yeah. So, oh. so medyo, ano talaga, wow. I had to take lots of mga therapy sa, sa pagsasalita also. And... <laughs> Yeah, but it's a whole three years of of recovering, and it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a straight line. It wasn't always going up. Nagkakaroon ako ng setbacks, biglang biglang may maano na naman sa Nico. Tapos it was, it was like a trial and error sort of thing until they got me into surgery na and all that. So 
So yeah, if, if you want to know more about that, just type my name on Google. It's the first thing that appears. Yes! Oh, Google but, siya! Google but, you! But, but basically, so yun nga, how did I handle these curveballs? For me, parang, for me, always have a goal. You know, always have a direction. It doesn't, yun nga, it doesn't have to be a, a straight line. It could even be a U-turn, you know. Basta believe that you're heading towards something great and create your own meaning. Parang ask yourself, why am I doing this? And also, talk to the people around you who have the same experiences so you don't feel like you're alone. And um, like what um, Brian said, you, know, you, you have to learn from your, your mistakes and failures. And siguro one thing na super important din para sa akin is you should be able to reward your small wins. Success is compounding. It's not a target number. After which you can say to yourself, "Na parang ah, ito na tapos na ako." It's not a checklist. Parang it's definitely made up of really smaller successes. And for me, yes, those are I agree. Na, hindi siya masadong celebrated enough. And you know, these are the things that might only be visible to yourself. Pero these are the things that will really propel you to the highest of highs. So. I like that. I like that. I like that. Nga, kasi, oh, oh, nga, this, these things will really prepare you to the highest of highs. Tapos kay Brian naman, yung mga pro- whatever, whatever lemons that life throws at him, those will make him. Make him like that. Kasi make it or break it, make me. Kay Ian naman, prepare, uh, may, uh, highest of highs. So, mga, yan ang ating quotable quotes, di ba? Mga from Brian and Iyo. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.